All right, boys, welcome back to another video. Here today, yes, I'm gonna be bringing to you some uh, some information just so you know and just so you are aware. Um, as we've waited, it, what we were waiting for hasn't dropped, which means what we waited for is not actually happening. Hence, it's not coming, it's not happening. Get depressed. Today we'll bring it to you, or I'll bring it to you, we'll jump into it, we'll bring it down. If you're new to the channel, you subscribe, let's have some fun. <laughs> Now again, as you all know, we wait for Fridays. Fridays is when we get a teaser if there was anything planned. We all had some idea that maybe, man, they said new characters, maybe it's gonna happen. We might get Mirio. Um, and this morning we should have gotten the teaser. We did not get the teaser, which will stand that you will not be getting Mirio this week. You will not be getting a brand new character. You will not be getting anything. Um, you know, we have information. We know, yeah, Mirio is coming, but when, right? So when will he actually show up in game? Most likely, you'll have to wait three months, right? And that's the current character cycle. Again, you know, some free to plays like that, you know, you can get uh, to make it for a character. But, you know, in the long run, I still think that waiting that long, people skip characters, they want to see other characters instead. Three months, you get like four characters a year. Um, if you like that, hey, this is the game for you, 100%. But um, it is depressing, it is what it is. We have this, so just to show it to you, they literally said don't miss the chance to get the victory together. He's coming at a point. Today there was no teaser. Yes, if anybody wants that little bit of copium, there still could be a chance he drops as a surprise unit in-game. I doubt that just because, remember, to do that, you have to have an alive game. This is not an alive game in any capacity um, in comparison to what it was back then. In order for them to bring back players, they kind of have to put out these trailers to hype them up, to bring them back to download the game, to jump back on to do whatever. Most of the time, it's done like that because they've uninstalled. They've waited. They've, they haven't seen much. They're like, eh, I don't really care. After seeing Tamaki Yamajiki, a lot of players didn't actually come back to the game because they didn't care. They were hoping for Mirio. A lot of people also have uninstalled recently because of anniversary and all of that. The entire idea of putting out a teaser is to hype them up and bring them back to the game to play it. That did not happen. We have no teaser here. So again, most likely no character. If you want that copium, hey, maybe, possibly, he drops and he's still here. 10% chance he just gets appeared in the game as a surprise unit after maintenance. I doubt it, but if you want that, hey, who knows? So again, what does that mean? What that means is, yes, Nejure is going to start rerun cycle again. We just had her, which most likely means it's either Dobby rerun next or they restart the entire cycle and they give you All Might rerun, boom, and now it continues onwards for three months like that, or maybe just one month, two months. I honestly have no idea how long it will take. We endlessly wait for content or wait for stuff in this game. I'm hoping, remember last time we had jam-packed April. That was the content update um, that was supposed to give us some good stuff. Again, it gave us tag team, took away tag team. Tag team is now gone. We're waiting for content. Hopefully this month we have a solid content update with a brand new game mode that doesn't freaking leave. I'm really hoping that's the case. Something on the PVE side. We have Apex, that's PVP. We have tag team, that was PVP. Hopefully we now have a PVE mode. Um, again, we had team up, which was introduced earlier in the game. Again, CN made that, I know, whatever. But we could have a new aspect of the game, a new level up material. And to do that, to get that material, you have to do this event, to do this entire thing. A new game mode would be great. And I'm telling you, this game desperately needs content hopefully we get something this week and again even if it's not a character content is great it's great to have something hopefully we see something um again maintenance should be announced tonight we should run that into the entire idea but again to bring it to you real quick if you want to go in summer for nejure high chance she doesn't return for a very long time four months five months plus because you know we have to go through every other rerun first you have to go through all might you have to go through stain you have to go through endeavor you have to go through shigaraki hawks tamajiki whatever you have so many other banners to go through which means most likely if you want to make it for you know get her this is your only chance for a while so Go and do it. Try and complete this banner if you want to. Um, again, you can still wait till Tuesday. See after maintenance. Maybe Mirio is surprisingly there, and we didn't expect it, but he actually drops. Would be the sickest thing ever. We'd all be so hyped, but again, we have to find out then. We'll wait until maintenance day, um, which is on Tuesday. Fully up to you. Make your final decision. I won't be making a video on that day. Um, like Regarding this, I'll be making a maintenance video, and that's what's going to happen. So again, if you want to go into summer for this, last chance. Make your decision. Decide now. And then again, when it comes to the lightness and darkness banner, if you care about that, go and finish it up. Again, it literally says right here for everyone asking, L&D to uh, recruit tickets will not be converted into hero coins after the event ends. So spend everything. Let's say you're at 89 pity, 90 pity, and you want to put a multi in, I advise against it because there's a chance you pull the S characters of Shota Todoroki, Momo, uh, what is it, Tokoyami, and Katsuki Bakugo. You never want to spend hero coins on those characters. Keep that in mind. If you would like to, you can. You don't have to listen to me, but I would recommend if you're anything um, below 90, do not touch it. And again, even if you're like 95, maybe five singles is okay. 93, 94, 96, anything like that, that's fine. 
uh, 2,500 hero coins, a lot of hero coins, I would never. Again, if you reach 98 pity, I would highly recommend you put those two singles in because 500 hero coins for an S character isn't half bad by any means. So again, fully up to you. Um, you decide what you want to do there, but I wanted to bring that to you and make it quick, but yeah. With that being said, hopefully this week we have a solid content update. If not, a that's that's really it. Again, no Mirio, could be a Battle Pass character. They literally said everywhere, anniversary, like new characters, new content, new events, new giveaways. I don't know if we got that much in comparison to what they hyped up, but hey, it's fine. I want to bring it to you here today. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Enjoy. I will catch you guys in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe.